This video will discuss the derivation of the first order energy for first order perturbation theory. This video is optional in this playlist and you can skip it if you're not interested in the derivation uh, with no further consequence. So for those of you who are interested, we're going to start with our total Hamiltonian operator, which in perturbation theory is equal to our reference Hamiltonian H0 plus our perturbation operator script V. And for the purposes of this derivation, we're going to add this parameter lambda in front of our perturbation. Now lambda is going to be some unspecified number, which has a value between 0 and 1, but it actually doesn't matter at all. It's just a dummy variable, which is going to be used for the purposes of derivation. So now our wave function in perturbation theory is going to equal psi naught plus lambda psi 1 plus lambda squared, psi 2, etc. beyond there. So each increasing order we get another power of lambda in our wave function. For En, our energies of our wave functions, that's going to be the zero order energy for that given quantum number, plus lambda times E1, plus lambda squared E2, and etc. as it goes similarly as it did for the wave function. So our total Hamiltonian and our total Schrodinger equation is h psi equals e psi. So substituting in the values of h, e, and psi into our Schrodinger equation, we have h naught plus lambda v equals, or sorry, h naught plus lambda v times psi naught plus lambda psi 1 plus lambda squared psi 2, etc. equals e times psi, e naught plus lambda e1 plus lambda squared e2, etc., times psi naught plus lambda 1 plus lambda squared psi 2, etc., as it goes. So now what we do is on each side of the equation, we're going to have various terms which are in various orders of lambda. So everywhere, every term that has a lambda to the 0 or a 1 in front, we're going to collect that into an equation where it has to equal each other. Everything where lambda to the 1 is in there, we're going to collect those terms for our first order equation. Everything with lambda squared is going to be in our second order equation. So the expressions for each order of perturbation theory are going to come from the power of lambda that shows up in this equation on both sides. So that's the real use of lambda here in this uh, derivation tool. So first we have the zero order, everything that has lambda to the 0. We get lambda to the 0 times h naught psi naught equals lambda to the 0 times e naught psi naught. So that's not interesting. That's just the reference Schrodinger equation. That's the Schrodinger equation for our reference Hamiltonian, reference wave function, and reference energies. So zeroth order perturbation theory is just the reference uh, Schrodinger equation. The first uh, non-trivial result is first order perturbation theory. Lambda to the 1, we get two terms on each side. h naught psi 1 plus v acting on psi 0 equals e naught psi 1 plus e1 psi 0. All right, so what are we going to do with this? So I'll put these into direct notation where psi 1n is indicated by this n with a subscript 1. So ground state wave function psi n is n0 first order wave function is n1. So we have h naught n1 plus v acting on n0 equals e naught n1 plus e1 n0. All right, we're going to multiply uh, by, by psi 0 star on both sides and integrate. So what we'll get is these Dirac expectation integrals on both sides. We'll have n0, h0, n1 plus n0, v, n0 equals n0, e0, n1, plus n0, e1, n0. All right, there's a couple things we can factor out on the right side here. So what we can do is, uh, this is a constant, so this becomes e0, n0, n1, plus e1, n0, n0. Uh, n0, n0 should be 1. We're assuming that our reference wave function is normalized. So this just becomes e1. All right, our, our Hamiltonian is a Hermitian operator, so n0, h0, n1 is going to equal n1, h0, n0. We can reverse the orders of the operations here for a Hermitian operator. 
So H naught acting on N naught gives us E naught N naught. So that gives us uh, E naught just as it was up there. So we can factor that out. We have E naught N1 N0 plus N0 V N0 equals E naught N1 N0 plus E1. So now we have these two terms, which are the first terms on each side of the equation. Those are equal to each other. E naught times the overlap of psi 1 and psi 0. Those go away because they're equal. What we're left with is the first order energy of our nth eigenfunction is equal to the integral f over all space of psi 0 n star times the perturbation operator acting on psi 0 n. So this video derived our expression for the energy in first order perturbation theory uh, which uses our perturbation operator and our reference wave function. The first order correction to our energy is the expectation value of the perturbation operator acting on our reference wave function.